When J-20 fighters with WS-15 engines keening sound resonates in the sky, when 055 Type 10,000 ton destroyer plows through the deep blue, with the surging power of homemade CGT-40M gas turbine, a seemingly ordinary Y-8 special aircraft has triggered the focus of the whole network due to the new type of propellers rotating under the wings. The video of the test flight, which has been quietly circulated, reveals a strategic breakthrough that has long been overlooked. The pair of propellers is not driven by the much-anticipated EEP-500, but by the EEP-400 turboprop engine, which is specially forged for the current fleet. The choice itself is a sober declaration of China's aviation industry, while chasing the stars of the future. It is more important to inject a strong, Chinese heart, into the hundreds of eagles guarding the dome of the sky today, when the power of this 4000 kilowatt class power embedded in the active platform, marking the last piece of China's aviation power autonomy journey short board, is accurate to make up for. A plague by 30 years of intergenerational dilemma was finally broken. The history of China's aviation engine development is a thorny road from mapping and imitation to forward design. In the turboprop field, the turboprop 6 series, which was derived from the Soviet Union's I-20, has been in service for half a century. Even though the latest version of the turboprop 6C has increased its power to 3,751 kilowatts and reduced its weight to 1,080 kilograms, its core design is still engraved with the technical genes of the 1960s. Compared with the US, E-2D early warning aircraft equipped with T-56 a 427 engine, Cold data reveals the cruel generation difference in the power of similar premise. The U.S. engine weight 200 kilograms lighter, fuel consumption is 18% lower, the overhaul interval of more than 5,000 hours. This gap in the battlefield dimension is visualized as a fatal short board. Airborne police 600 engine, dead weight, consumes more than 200 kilograms of load, equivalent to the sacrifice of two sets of electronic countermeasures pods. Lag time is shorter than the E2D2 hours forcing the carrier fleet to shrink the radius of the early warning by 15%. More serious is the plateau combat, when the turboprop 6C at an altitude of 4,000 meters airport power attenuation of 30%, the US, T-56 through the advanced turbine design only, 18% loss, so that the Y-9 transport aircraft field takeoff and landing capability of the existence of a generational gap. In the face of the dilemma, CNAD breaks the problem with the two-star strategy, i.e. P-500, as a 5,000 kilowatt class high power turboprop engine, adopts the revolutionary three axis independent rotor design, with the high pressure pressurizer, low pressure turbine, and the power turbine running on separate axes, so that each component is always in the best working condition. This, heart of the future, for the Y 30 transport aircraft with 30 tons of load and 5,000 kilometers range, but also through the core machine technology commonality igniting the flame of domestic 35-ton heavy helicopters. However, for the current platform, the 5000 KW surging power has become a sweet burden. The excess power leads to the reconfiguration of the drive system, and the enhanced weight of the airframe structure devours the economy. The value of the EP400 is thus highlighted. It is not a pie-in-the-sky subversive, but a down-to-earth innovator. It's 4000-4200 KW power, precisely matches the in-service demand, reduces fuel consumption by 15% through three-dimensional aerodynamic design, applies the third-generation monocrystalline alloy turbine blade to reduce the target weight to 880 kilograms, and improves the life expectancy by 50% with the intelligent health management system. When the Y-8 special aircraft in the network video, which is equipped with the new engine, takes off, what rotates under the wing is not only the blade, but also the rite of passage of China's aeronautical development engineering capability. This, heart transplant, surgery will completely activate the sleeping genes of the active fleet. Airborne early warning aircraft for the Airborne Police 600, the replacement of two EP-400, means a strategic leap. Air time from 6 hours to 8.5 hours, a single aircraft monitoring range can be a complete coverage of the Taiwan Strait to the Bashi Channel. Patrol radius expanded by 30%, so that the carrier battle group of air defense and interdiction line outward by 150 kilometers, and more because of the power supply capacity to improve the gallium nitride phased array radar on the detection range of F-35B increased to 260 kilometers. In the electromagnetic fog in the South China Sea, China's early warning aircraft for the first time, with the technical backbone to suppress the USC 2D, advanced Hawkeye. Y-9 fleet of aircraft transformation is even more disruptive, 
more than 100 transport aircraft, anti-submarine aircraft, electronic warfare aircraft will be the collective evolution. Load up 3.5 tons equivalent to an additional set of Red Flag 17 air defense system, or 48 precision guided the range will be increased by 1,200 kilometers to reach the second island chain west of Guam, and the plateau takeoff and landing capability will be qualitatively changed because the power to weight ratio will be increased to 0.33 horsepowers kg and the load capacity will be increased by 40 percent at airports at an altitude of 4,500 meters the most strategic value is the anti-submarine warfare domain y9q anti-submarine aircraft to extend the tour cruise with a new type of magnetic anomaly detector can make the submarine hidden area compression of 40 percent the density of underwater surveillance network in the western Pacific Ocean to enhance the threefold, forcing rivals to submarine activity costs surge by 300%. The radiation of this revolution is far beyond the military category. The turbine blade of a EP400 flashes with the light of science and technology of the same origin with WS15, the third generation of DD409 single crystal alloy to withstand high temperature of 1,150 degrees Celsius, and the efficiency of the air film cooling is 50% higher than that of the turbine propeller 6C, which makes the life of the engine break through 10,000 hours. Its full authority digital control system shares architecture with the turboshaft 10, which can sense 132 parameters in real time and predict failures and the technology has overflowed into the civil aviation field. When the Shinjo 700 regional airliner was in a desperate situation, because of the Canadian PW150C supply cutoff, the maturity of a EP400 enabled China to master the power autonomy of regional airliners for the first time. Even more forward-looking is the hybrid propulsion system derived from its core aircraft. The 2MW-class turbine power generation device developed by Hunan Power Machinery Research Institute based on this platform has helped the Ronying Evtal vertical takeoff and landing vehicle realize a range of 1,000 kilometers opening up a new racetrack for the low-altitude economy. As the chief designer Sean Xiaoming emphasized in the proposal of the two sessions, the breakthrough of aviation power is never a single point of progress, but a synergistic ascent of the three major systems of material genetics, intelligent control and precision manufacturing. Overlooking China's power map, the roar of a EP400 is like the sound of the final piece of the puzzle. From holding J-20 Super Patrol WS-15 to drive Y-20 Intercontinental delivery of WS-20, from promoting 055 tons of large drive CGT-40M combustion engine to support the Z-20 all-area maneuvering turboshaft 10, China has built air, sky, sea and land, all-dimensional independent power system. The maturity of the EP-400 has enabled the current medium-sized fleet to get rid of the embarrassment of working but not good enough, and transform into a strategic pivot to support all area combat. What is more symbolic is the leap in design philosophy from the confusion of copying the Soviet Union's I-20 to a EP-500's original design of three-axis independent rotor. China's aircraft development has finally crossed the technical canyon of knowing what it is and not knowing why it is. When the Y-8 electronic reconnaissance aircraft, equipped with the EP-400, swept over the East China Sea, its wingtips stirred not only the airflow, but also the declaration of a manufacturing powerhouse to the world after breaking free from the shackles. In the next three years, with the full replacement of the current fleet, the first flight of Y-30 with the EP-500, and the ignition of 5,000-kilowatt turboshaft engines for heavy helicopters, China's aviation power will complete the ultimate transformation from a chaser to a frontrunner. On the test bench of Hunan Zhuzhou Aviation Power Industrial Park, engineers are testing the extreme working condition of a EP-400, the turbine rotor with 3,800 revolutions per minute rolls up a surging roar, which penetrates the plant and resonates with the war eagles cruising the South China Sea 10,000 miles away. It declares the real realization of an iron law, every heartbeat of a great power should be the surging rhythm of independent innovation.